what the strut kit looks like when you open the box. Lots of parts, and before you bring it over to the tree to install it, let me give you just a, a quick overview of how all these parts go together. It's simple, but I know it can be overwhelming. So, first of all, the strut itself. Boom. I've got two left and right threaded eye bolts that will go into the ends of this, but it's important to point out that we've got a locking nut that goes on to the end of one of the eye bolts before it goes into the strut itself. So I'll start with that. Let's go ahead and put this on, run it right down almost to the very end. So now I've got this lock nut pretty much at the end of the threads here. And you can start putting it into the end of the strut itself. So again, one side, left thread, the opposite side, right thread, going the, ac the opposite direction. So I'm gonna assemble this before we bring it over to the tree and so you all understand exactly how it goes together. So that's good enough for the moment. Now the right thread into the strut itself, opposite direction, that sometimes you forget, but there it is. And I tend to go about halfway down. So once this is in place, you'll have, you'll have these brackets come in like so on the upper side. And we've got two of these like this on the lower side. So now we can take this over to the tree itself and we can install it. Now, I think it's easiest to put this in position to show you exactly what we're up to. We'll take one of these brackets, boom, put it on like so. One of the eyes lines up here. Um, we've got a nut, and if you could get me, I mean a bolt and a nut, Charles. Boom. This is a nylon locking nut, so we will screw this on to a degree, and then it will fasten it securely once we're done and happy with its location. Oh, this nut goes on the end of the tab, and that secures this. It comes with your tab, so now we're as secure as can be right there. Okay, so all secure up top. Now let's attach the bottom bracket. Same piece of material, just oriented differently. In it goes. We've got the bolt. Charlie, if you grab that nut for me. We've got the nylon nut. Secure that. It's a locking nut. So we'll just put it on loosely for now. And then we've got a one inch lag. Charlie, you want to grab that one inch lag. And this guy goes through here. Now it's all very adjustable, as you can see. You know, whoop, whoop, whoop. But what you'd like to do is make sure that you're in a place where you want to be something like this. And then we're going to take, it's actually the same drill bit that we use on the tabs, the 13 sixteenths, bada boom. And we're going to drill only as deep as the lags here, about four inches, a little bit more. So we're going to take this. We can even use this as a guide. Go right into the tree. Ooh. Ooh. And start drilling. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to go about four inches in. Done. There it is. Clean it all out. And now we also have another piece of specialized equipment. Again, that's the minor diameter that we just drilled the hole for of this large bolt. Charlie, can you hand me that monster socket wrench? Oh, okay, so this is not something everybody has on their workbench. Inch and a half socket. You know, you can do this with a crescent wrench though, but this makes it a whole lot easier. So maybe you know a buddy that's got something like this laying around. That would be great. Of course, we can sell you one. <clears throat> what we can do, this is the fun part about this particular strut setup, is that now you can expand it and make it nice and tight. You see this? Mm, 
<clears throat> gives it some good backup on the tab itself. And then this locking nut, put down on that. <laughs> okay, that's good. What do you say? Looks good to me. Everything's in place, struts in. We are good to go. Awesome.